In this video, we will look at how we can evaluate an expression with a rational exponent. To evaluate a rational exponent, what we will do is simply convert it to a radical. Then we will be able to simplify the radical using what we know about radical expressions. In this problem, we have 81 to the 3 fourths power. We can convert it to a radical expression, remembering that the denominator is the index on the radical. The numerator remains an exponent on the entire thing. We have the fourth root of 81 risen to the third power. We can quickly evaluate this by finding the prime factorization of 81 by dividing by 3, 27 times, by 3, 9 times, by 3, 3 times, and by 3, 1 time. We now have the fourth root of 3 to the fourth power cubed. 3 to the fourth power under the fourth root Dividing the exponent by the index gives us simply 3. Now that we've simplified the radical, we simply have to cube our final result. 3 to the third power is 27. This means 81 to the 3 fourths power is equal to 27. Let's take a look at one more example where we use the rational exponent converting to a radical in order to evaluate. In this problem, we see we've got a negative exponent. The negative exponent means we have a fraction 1 over the 125, and then the denominator on the fraction will become the index on the radical. The numerator of 4 will remain as an exponent. We can now calculate the parentheses, which is the cube root of 125. We may be able to do that in our heads, or we can simply find the prime factorization by dividing by 5, 5, and 5. We now have 1 over the cube root of 5 to the 3rd, all of that risen to the 4th power. Cube root and cube are inverses, we're left with just the 5, to the fourth power. Finally, to finish this problem off, we can calculate 5 to the fourth is 625, and our final answer for 125 to the negative 4 thirds is 1 625th. Rational exponents are easy to evaluate if we first convert them into a radical.